Today on Flea Market Finds with the Cavells, join experts Ralph and Terry Cavell as they travel to markets and shows around the country. Learn what's new in old porch gliders. See valuable antique sleighs and buggies. Discover old lightning rod balls that are now collectible. And can you identify this flea market find? The Cavells can, coming up. Welcome to Flea Market Finds with the Cavells. Political headlines are always hot with collectors, especially if there's a mistake. Well, at the mega fair in Atlantic City, New Jersey, we found one of the biggest political blunders in newspaper history. Let's take a look. In the days before computers and television, newspapers made their predictions based on how the results were coming in from the various precincts. The biggest newspaper booth made in the history of the country was this for the Chicago Daily Tribune where they predicted that Dewey would defeat Truman, or did defeat him. Of course, the next morning, it was sort of a turnabout as Truman beat Dewey. Uh, this worth in the neighborhood of $1,000. Uh, we're in a little better shape, it would be worth more, but the papers are extremely rare. And as with most paper items, particularly newspapers, they disintegrate fairly fast, so I'm sure the few that are around unless they've been preserved correctly, uh, it's rapidly being de or deteriorating. But it is one of the nicest pieces I have, and it's uh, one of the most unusual. The Chicago Daily Tribune was the only newspaper to make this mistake, and those papers were quickly pulled from the newsstands when the error was realized. That's why this newspaper is worth so much money today. So did you vote for Truman, or did you vote for Dewey? Hey, wait a minute. It's a secret ballot. It's a precious part of our democracy. And besides, what, do you, what makes you think I'm old enough to have voted in 1948? I know, I know. I'm sorry. Politics and age are forbidden subjects around here. Yes. 